you are a farmer. No, that's stretching it. What happened was, is I had a farm, quite a big farm. It's a thousand acres. It's not like a small holding. Jeremy Clarkson is an English television presenter, journalist, and writer. He is best known as the host of the internationally acclaimed sports car show, Top Gear, which is consistently one of the most viewed television shows in the world. He writes weekly columns for the Sunday Times and The Sun. Since 2018, Jeremy has hosted the revived ITV game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?, replacing former host Chris Tarrant. Jeremy also has a significant public following, being credited as a major factor in the resurgence of Top Gear as one of the most popular shows on the BBC. And then a man, I had it since 2008, and a man farmed it for me. And then he said, oh, I'm retiring. This happens, you know, so I thought, well, I'll do it myself. Wow. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Net Worth Now, where you get to see the lifestyle and net worth of your favorite celebrities. We hope you enjoy these videos, and if you do, please remember to hit the like button and comment below who your favorite celebrity is so we can feature them in an upcoming video. His full name is Jeremy Charles Robert Clarkson, but is also known as Jeremy Clarkson and Jeeza. He was born on April 11th, 1960, in Doncaster, West Riding of Yorkshire, England, making him 61 years old at the time of this production. He stands at 1.96 meters, or 6 feet 5 inches tall. Clarkson is a big fan of the progressive rock band Genesis. He attended the band's 2007 reunion concert at London's Twickenham Stadium. He also provided sleeve notes for the reissue of Selling England by the Pound as part of the Genesis 1970-1975 box set. Clarkson is unsympathetic to the Green Movement and frequently mocks groups like Greenpeace calling them eco-mentalists that are a result of old trade unionists and CND, Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament Lesbians. James Clarkson's exuberant and outspoken personality has landed him in trouble more than once. In a Top Gear episode in November 2005, he performed a Nazi salute while reviewing a design that was quintessentially German. He also referred to Nazi Germany's invasion of Poland by saying that the GPS system in the car only goes to Poland. In August 2017, Jeremy fell critically ill. He was hospitalized and was diagnosed with pneumonia. However, he recovered soon. Jeremy has never hidden the fact that he disliked the Rover brand, and some critics have attributed his views as influential enough to bring the closure of the car company. Referencing Winston Churchill's famous speech, he once said, never in the field of human endeavor has so much been done so badly by so many. His comments over the years saw Rover's workers hang an anti-Clarkson campaign banner outside the Longbridge plant during its final days. In 1989, Clarkson married Alex Hall. She left him for one of his friends six months later. In May 1993, he married his manager, Francis Kane. They had three children. Kane filed for divorce in April 2014. On September 2010, Clarkson was granted a privacy injunction against his first wife to prevent her from publishing claims that their sexual relationship continued after he married Kane. Since 2017, he has been in a relationship with Irish-born former actress and screenplay writer Lisa Logan, who features in his Amazon Prime series, Clarkson's Farm. Which is the stupidest decision I've ever made. <laughs> In my, I thought farming was a part-time thing. You know, you just put seeds in the ground, whether happens, food grows, and then you sell it. He was born to Shirley and Edward. His parents put Clarkson's name down years in advance for a private school, with no idea how they were going to afford the tuition. Shortly before he was to begin school, his parents made two Paddington Bear toys for their children. They were so popular that they began selling them. However, they were soon served with a cease and desist notice from the legal team of Paddington Bear's creator, Michael Bond. Edward Clarkson went to London to meet with Bond's lawyer. He ended up meeting with Bond in the elevator on the way to the meeting, and the two hit it off. Bond awarded the Clarksons the worldwide licensing rights to Paddington Bear. Income from this paid for Jeremy's schooling. Clarkson has said that he was badly bullied and very unhappy while a student at Rapton School. He attended Rapton School 
at the same time as former Top Gear executive producer Andy Willem and Formula One engineer Adrian Newey. He was eventually expelled from the Rapton School for a number of infractions. Ooh. And in I went. So I'm about here. Okay, and then the sheep started to look at me in an odd way. He is most widely known as the host of the internationally acclaimed sports car show, Top Gear. However, his first job was as a salesman for his parents' Paddington Bear business. He went on to work as a journalist for a number of newspapers, including the Rotherham Advisor, Rockdale Observer, Wolverhampton Express, and Star, and Shrosphere Star. It was at the Shrosphere Star where he got his first opportunity to write about cars. He started out writing about Peugeots and Fiat's before working his way up to Range Rovers and Ford Granadas. After seven years, he was finally allowed to drive an Aston Martin Lagonda. After 10 years, he got the chance to drive his first Lamborghini. Clarkson formed the Motoring Press Agency, MPA, in 1984. He and fellow motoring journalist Jonathan Gill conducted road tests for newspapers and car magazines. He has been a regular contributor to Top Gear magazine since its debut in 1993. His first big television appearance was the presenter host of Top Gear in its original format from October 1988 to February 2000, and again from October 2002 to March 2015. Clarkson is largely credited with turning Top Gear into the most watched show on BBC Two. Clarkson also hosted the first UK version of Robot Wars. From November 1998 to December 2000, he had a talk show called Clarkson. He produced 27 half-hour episodes of the show, which featured guest interviews with musicians, politicians, and television personalities. In 2007, Clarkson and co-host James May were the first people to reach the North Pole in a car, as shown on Top Gear Polar Special. Clarkson was suspended by the BBC from Top Gear in March 2015, following a fight with one of the show's producers. On July 30th, 2015, Amazon announced that Clarkson and his former Top Gear co-hosts, Richard Hammond and James May, would host a new show called The Grand Tour. The first season debuted on November 18th, 2016. The series wrapped up its fourth season at the end of 2019. I can make. <laughs> Ended up calling the farm Diddly Squat, because that is how much money you make from farming. <laughs> and it is a full-on, it's a full-on. Considering the show's reach, Clarkson's Top Gear salary was a surprising modest $4 million per year. But don't feel too bad for Jeremy. In addition to his base salary, Clarkson owned 30% of the rights to Top Gear. That means he gets a cut of profits from all licensing deals, DVD sales, syndication, and merchandise. On top of his base salary, Clarkson typically earns an additional $7.5 to $13 million per year in dividends and bonuses from the show. On 2013, the BBC, which already owned 50% of the show, bought out all outstanding stakes to take full control of the Top Gear empire. This transition netted Clarkson roughly $21 million. He has a total worth of $60 million. In 2012, Clarkson bought a five-bedroom cottage on 312 acres in the Cotswolds for $5.5 million. In 2018, he blew it up on the Grand Tour. After the rubble was cleared, Clarkson had plans to build a six-bedroom, three-story mansion. He has the following vehicles in his garage. A 1986 Alfa Romeo GT V6. A Jaguar XJR V8. A Ferrari F355. A Volkswagen Golf GTI. A McLaren 675 LT a Mercedes CLK Black Series, a Mercedes CLK 55 AMG, a Mercedes SL 55 AMG, a Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, a Mercedes 600 Grossier, a Volvo XC90, 
a Ford GT, a Porsche 911, a Toyota Land Cruiser, a Mercedes SLS AMG Roadster, a Range Rover TDV8 Vogue SE, a Jaguar XJ6, a Jaguar XJR 4.0, a Ford Focus, a Ford Escort RS Cosworth, a BMW M3 CSL, a Volkswagen MK1 Scirocco, a Lotus Elise 111S, and an Aston Martin Virage.